Hello everyone, this is Cinema77, Horror and Call Film Lover. I'm back with another movie review. And I've been putting this off for a while, but I think it's about time we get started on this. We're going to start working on the Wild Things films. Now, Wild Things came out in 1998, and the movie was pretty risque at the time. It was, um, it got quite a bit of, you know, it got quite a bit of controversy surrounding it, you know, because they were talking about the explicit uh, nudity and you know, uh, there was like the, the one major scene, which we'll get to in just a minute. But, um, yeah, so the movie came out it, you know, I don't know how well it did at the box office. I don't know if it was a big hit or, you know, or if it just did okay or whatever, but, uh, over the time it definitely gained a cult following and, uh, it ended up leading to basically three more sequels being made. And, uh, this one here is the three pack. I got this mainly because this has, uh, the unrated version of, the first movie wild things. And, um, yeah, I mean, this is a, it's a pretty interesting film. It's, this is more, if you're into erotic thrillers, um, I don't know if by today's standard, the thing is, though, is like, um, the, the thing is, it's like, yes, it's sexy and it has erotic scenes in it and things like that. But here's the problem. The erotic, if you're going into this thinking that it's just going to be like so many like sequential erotic scenes, just one after the other. Yeah. You're going to be disappointed in it, but uh, it's like when you do, when it does get to it, it's, you know, it's kind of very, it's kind of like, um, you know, kind of saving it, you know? So it's like when it does happen, it, it's more, it has more of an impact. It's more powerful. That's uh, the way that I see. It. I've seen erotic films where it's almost just literally almost just one scene after the other and it, and it loses a lot of its punch. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, um, I'm sure a lot of people have already seen this movie. They already know it. Chances are pretty good. If you're watching this video, you've already seen the movie and you already know what it's about and everything else. So, uh, but anyway, though, yeah, let, we'll go ahead and we'll start the review. So uh, I'll put up a little something inspirational for you to look at while you listen to me ramble on about it. So anyway, here's one of our many stars of the movie is uh, Denise Richards, who, you know, we all remember. uh very fondly from this movie and uh you know i'll get to her in just a minute but uh the movie stars her it stars uh nev campbell who at the time you know that was another thing that i think really appealed to people really wanted to get people uh into the theaters to see this movie because they were talking about you know erotic scenes with nev campbell in it who she just had her major i mean yeah she had been in the craft and she'd been on tv and party of five and things like that but she really had her her breakout role with scream you know so so she had all this under her belt so and i imagine a lot of people found out like oh my god you know sexy scenes with nev campbell i want to see that and at the same time too you had denise richards here who uh she you know had her you know, pretty much breakout role with, uh, I'm sure she had done other things before, but she had her breakout role with, uh, uh, Starship Troopers. So, you know, knowing that there was sexiness going on with these two leading ladies. And I think everybody just really, really wanted to, you know, come out and see this movie. And, and, uh, but also you do have a talented cast though. You know, you got the two lovely ladies up and coming, but they are surrounded by really talented actors. You got Kevin Bacon, uh, playing um detective ray duquette you have uh uh the main character of the movie sam lombardo played by matt dillon who um uh, you know i mean i always felt like matt dillon and possibly his brother kevin dillon too i always thought those two were always really underappreciated as actors uh you know i mean they got they got their fair share but it just seemed like they they deserve more credit than what they get. It's just how I personally feel. I always thought that the two of them were really good, talented guys. Um, like I said, you got, you know, like I already said, you got Kevin Bacon, you got them, you got, you know, Bill Murray is in this movie. Uh, Bill Murray is basically pretty much in here. You could tell he's here basically just be kind of the comic relief, you know, obviously. Um, Teresa Russell, who, uh, you know, she was kind of like, that was kind of the thing. I mean, this is just my opinion. Um, you know, I remember seeing Teresa Russell in movies like, you know, Ken Russell's movie Whore and things like that, you know, and uh, I felt that uh, Teresa Russell, kind of her role in this movie was to be like, you know, yeah, a lot of people like looking at these young, nubile, you know, beauties like, you know, Denise Richards and Neff Campbell. But, you know, there are a lot of men out there, too. They want to see like a, a mature woman, you know, who, you know, who has a degree of sexiness to her. And that's where Teresa Russell came in. but. 
anyway, so the story is kind of fun. It's, you know, it's uh, got plenty of twists and turns. And um, I think the only problem is, is by now, I think everybody could look at this movie and say, yeah, they could see it coming. Um, I have to admit, I was a little more surprised by it when I first saw it. Um, the story starts off, you know, you have this very posh, very rich school down in Florida and, and, uh, you have, um, all these, you know, it's basically just a school for the, the upper crust kids, you know, the, the rich kids and snooty kids and all this. And we're introduced to one of our main characters here, Kelly Van Ryan, who's played by Denise Richards. And she's one of the students here. And, uh, this guy tries to attempt to touch her and, you know, I mean, an interesting way to open up a movie. She sits down, this guy reaches over to touch her. She slaps his hand away and tells him, fuck off. But, um, so anyway, so, uh, they're listening to their, you know, speech given by Sam Lombardo, who's the guidance counselor for the school. And the thing is, is like, you know, this guy, I don't get it, you know, and, and that's kind of the thing. It's like, um, you know, I mean, this movie, you're going to find out, okay. Try to be more uh, linear when you're explaining it. So anyway, so Kelly Van Ryan, uh, her and a friend of hers, they go to Lombardo and they tell her, they ask him if they can come over and they can wash his Jeep because they're raising, they're doing like a fundraising thing and they, you know, and, uh, you know, to raise money for school and it's a good cause and everything else. So, you know, they, she asked him, can we come over and wash your Jeep? So he says, okay, yeah, you can come over and wash my Jeep and everything else. And this would be a good time. This would be a good day and stuff. And, uh, you know, so they come over and, you know, we're introduced to, uh, Nev Campbell's character, Susie, who we find out Susie is kind of like the, uh, you know, she's kind of like the bad girl. She's kind of the girl that doesn't fit in. She's not like, she's not considered like the weird or crazy girl or any of that kind of stuff. She's just kind of considered like the, the, you know, kind of considered like the girl from the wrong side of the tracks type. She's, you know, she's basically like a tomboyish type of girl and she's into like, you know, doing mechanic work and things like that. And, and she just doesn't seem like she really fits into this, fits into the school system. So anyway, so the day comes and Kelly and her friend, they go to uh, wash Sam's Jeep and they ask him, you know, where he's got his hose and all this kind of stuff. And it sounds kind of, you know, silly, you know, kind of sexy and seductory type of dialogue and things. And so he tells him, you know, um, and she, you know, he tells him, yeah, you can wash my Jeep. My Jeep is all dirty. I went four wheeling this weekend and stuff like that. And his Jeep is completely covered in dirt. And, uh, um, then we find out that, uh, Sam has got a girl in the house with him. And so, you know, turns out Sam's actually kind of a ladies man in the area and things like that. So anyway, so, and he's living in kind of like a nice kind of beach house. Um, I don't know if it's like a condo. I think it's a condo. But, you know, just kind of this nice beach house condo kind of property and things. And so the girls, they go and then there's this, you know, really sexy montage scene of the girls washing his Jeep and they're spraying each other with the hose. And, you know, it's it's very, you know, titillating, exciting and things like that. And, um, you know, surprisingly, though, this movie, for what it is, surprisingly, the movie is directed by John McNaughton, who, you know, many cult film fans and everybody's going to know. Well, not everybody, but you know, horror movie fans, cult film fans, and everything. We all know him as the director of Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. You know, he co-wrote and directed the movie Henry of Port Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. And this is completely different from Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. Um, not bad, it's just different. So anyway, so the girls they go and they wash his Jeep and everything's, you know, seems like it's all good. And then uh so they tell him they need his his ticket or something. So he's like, Yeah, let me go in the house and find it and you know, she's, you know, he looks over the van, the Jeep that they just washed. And it's like, wow, you girls did a really great job. And, you know, I'm really going to recommend you to, and all this kind of stuff. And so, you know, so it's like, yeah, let me go get the ticket and everything. So, so Denise Richard, you know, Kelly, she tells her friend, you know, go ahead, take off and, you know, I'll catch you later and all this stuff. And she's like, really? Mm -hmm. So, so, you know, Kelly goes into the house and Sam comes out and she's just looking you know, I mean, there's no way you could res resist Denise Richards the way she looked in this shot. It was, you know, I have to admit, you know, the, you know, McNaughton and the cinematographer, they knew how to, how to film Denise Richards and how to really accentuate her, you know, her beauty and her physique and everything. And it works. It definitely works in this scene. So the scene, you know, basically fades to black. And then, you know, it's, you know, a time later, she comes out, 
her short shirt is a little bit torn and everything else. And so she runs off and she looks like she's upset and all this other kind of stuff. So anyway, so uh, she's at home. She's firing off a gun. She's shooting at a target range. Well, inside her mother, played by Teresa Russell, is trying to, you know, get some naughty yum yum. And, uh, you know, so that's what I was saying. She's kind of there for, you know, the guys that are into like the more mature women. You know, you like seeing sexy, mature women, you know. So Teresa Russell, that's kind of what she's there for. So anyway, so she's, you know, getting pissed off and getting irritated because she's, you know, wanting to have fun with her boy toy, but she's being distracted by the noise. So she goes out and she sees Kelly and, you know, she's like, something's wrong with you. What's wrong with you? And, and so she tells her mother that she got raped by Sam Lombardo. And so, you know, of course she freaks out about this and, you know, so they go and they decide that they're going to bring in, you know, Sam. And this is where our detective, Ray Duquette, played by Kevin Bacon, um, you know, he shows up and, you know, you think his character, and that's the thing, everything is like, you think it's going to go one way, but things, there are so many twists and turns in this movie. But um, so anyway, so Ray turns out, you know, he's got a bit of a history and we find out more about that later. And then so they decide that they're going to go ahead and they're going to sue Sam Lombardo. And so he, you know, they take him to trial and everything else. And he's, you know, needing a lawyer. He can't really afford one. Turns out he makes good money, but he doesn't make that good of money. And then we bring in the uh, def the defense attorney played by Bill Murray. And Bill Murray, you know, uh, you know, he's there as a he's there as kind of like a, like I said, he's there to be the comic relief. He's wearing like this neck brace and, you know, it kind of like his character seems like he really has no idea what he's doing, but he seems to have something of a strategy. So they're going into it and things. And so they start taking him to trial. Okay. So they go to trial and uh, then we come up, we got some new information too. It turns out that Susie played by Nev Campbell here, um, she comes out and she said that basically that Sam Lombardo attacked her as well. And that, you know, apparently he's had a history of doing this to girls and stuff like that. And, you know, it's like his reputation as a ladies man is just more like, he's more kind of like a, you know, he's more like a predator, sexual predator, things like that. So they, you know, but, um, you know, Bill Murray's character, he's, you know, he's really fumbling through this whole thing. You know, he kind of like, I mean, a lot of the times when he's, uh, Whenever something comes up, you know, where he does well in the courtroom or anything, a lot of it seems like it's just pure dumb luck that he's just getting by. Um, then it finally it gets to the point where, you know, uh, Kelly Van Rye, she gets on the stand and she starts to testify. And then she breaks down and admits that the whole thing was a fraud and that, you know, it turned out he never he never attacked her that, you know, she made it all up and that, you know, she was with other boys, but she was afraid to tell her mom and all this stuff. So she made up the story about Sam raping her and, you know, the whole thing never happened and all this kind of stuff. And, um, so of course the case is dismissed and it turns out that, uh, you know, you know, Van Ryan, you know, Teresa Russell's character, she's got to pay, Lombardo all this money and it turns out apparently like uh like I said you know the character Sam Lombardo was a ladies man and even the mother you know Kelly's mother tried to hook up with him at one point but he just kind of blew her off so anyway so he gets all this money and everything but he's kind of like he's kind of really like hiding out now because you know his you know his name's really been dragged through the mud and all this kind of stuff and it's like everybody's you know he even though, you know, and that's the thing, you know, like even if you've been cleared in a rape case, that doesn't mean that people are automatically going to just stop believing what they've already believed about you. So, you know, so he's hiding out and, say, you know, he, so he goes to a hotel room and then, uh, you know, there's a surprise. We see that, you know, Kelly shows up, she's pointing a gun at them. And then we get, well, we think it's a gun, but, you know, she's got like a, she's got like a, like a cloth draped over her arm, her draped over her hand. And then she pulls it back to reveal it's actually a champagne bottle. And then um, what ends up happening is we find out what really happened is that it turned out that Kelly really just wanted to get money from her mother. She just wanted to get away from her mom. And, you know, she was tired of uh, having to live under her mom's rules and everything. And then we reveal that what ended up happening was that she entered into an agreement with Lombardo that uh, if, and she basically, you know, she, as a kind of like as a down payment, she paid him with sex. Um, but she ended, the two of them entered into this agreement that if, 
um, they worked together and they were able to get money away from her mother that they would split the money. And then we find out that Susie actually came in and she was in on it as well. But, you know, now we're in that part of the story where it's like, okay, they got the money, but what ends up happening, what happens to a lot of these kind of stories, it's all like, you know, you got people, they're trying to get the money and they get to, uh, you know, they get into that, they get to that part where it's like, okay, they got the money, but now everybody starts to become suspicious of each other. Everybody starts to turn on each other. Um, you don't know who's, who you can trust, who you can't, things like that. And Lombardo is basically telling them, you know, we can't be together tonight after this, and but we can have one party and things like that. And so this is where we get to the most infamous scene in the entire movie where they do the three-way. And uh, hang on a second, I better get you some eye candy for that one. Anyway, so yeah, so we got, this is a shot of, you know, Kelly from the movie in the scene. Um, but they decide that, you know, we get into basically what was considered like very risque at the time. And, you know, um, the movie was, you know, Band, I think, and you know, they were talking about heavily censoring it and things like that. But this is where the movie really took the erotic turn was the three way scene where you have, you know, Sam and Kelly and uh, Susie, the three of them get together and they have a three way. The one thing you're going to note there here is um, here's the problem. I now, if you're going into this hoping for Denise Richards' nudity, you're in luck because during the scene, you got Denise Richards, she you know, she takes her top off and everything else, and she looks amazing. She looks great, you know, looks beautiful, looks stunning, and all this other kind of stuff. But here's the problem. If you're going in hoping you're going to see some Nev Campbell nudity, sorry, doesn't happen. Um, they kind of really like, they kind of really like uh, do tricks with the cameras and everything. Like you can make, like make sure the camera is just aimed at her back so you don't see her front and everything. So if you're hoping you're going to see like Nev Campbell really, you know, like, show anything it's not going to happen but you know but denise richards basically is one who ends up saving the scene so we do the three-way scene and everything and then we got you know the character of duquette you know kevin bacon's character he's you know he's closing in more and more and he's you know he doesn't believe for a second he has he kind of has an idea of what's going on here and he knows that you know something's not right and so you know he's bringing in lombardo and lombardo's getting pissed saying yo you guys need to stop harassing me things like that and the other cops are basically like covering for him ultimately to the point where uh duquette ends up you know losing his losing his position as a detective because it's like you know they keep telling you, you need to leave this guy alone and you won't leave him alone and things like that and so he's just you know um so basically they just decide that they're going to let him go so anyway so you know now he's kind of like working on his own he figures okay fine if i don't have the you know he's talking to his partner he's asking her to kind of help him out and and kind of keep him on top of things, but he's going to try to like investigate it, you know, on his free time now. And, um, and so, you know, she's going in, she's looking into things as well. And, uh, but in the meanwhile, we got our, you know, little conspirators here and like in a lot of these movies that happens, you know, you know, things are breaking down, things are not going well. And, uh, you got like scenes where, you know, Sam and Kelly, they're talking about, you know, the, they're not sure about Susie. Um, they think that Susie's going to crack and she's, you know, you know, she doesn't seem like she's holding it together and they think that she's going to squeal and everything. And so at one point, you know, you get to a scene where they're at Kelly's house and uh, her, Susie and Kelly are arguing and stuff like that. And then they decide that they're going to talk to Sam on the phone and he's telling, basically he's telling them to calm down and everything's going to be okay. But Susie's like really starting to freak out now and, you know, she's like, she can't go through with this anymore and all this stuff. And so the two of them basically get into a cat fight where they wind up in the pool. And then we get to, you know, the next, you know, like really erotic scene in the movie. So here we are. We got a shot from that. And uh, yeah, so now we end up, we're in the, you know, the next sexiest scene in the movie. And like I said, at the time, this was considered pretty risque, you know. So anyway, and she's finally able, the two of them end up making love and they get to calm down. But what they don't know is that they're actually being photographed and, you know, their, their conversation is being recorded by Duquette. And then, you know, he's trying and it just seems like everything's not going right. And then ultimately Kelly and, um, you know, Kelly and uh, Sam decide that they're going to go ahead and they're just going to, you know, they're going to go ahead and they're going to, um, you know, Actually, I made a mistake here. I'll correct that in just a minute. 
but uh, so anyway, so yeah, at this point, Duquette really is still on the, you know, on the force. He's, you know, being a detective and all this stuff. But it's the scene that comes next is what ends up getting him kicked off the force. So anyway, so uh, they decide that they're going to murder Susie because they, they're afraid Susie's going to talk. And so, you know, they're arranging that they're going to go out and, you know, murder her and all this stuff. And, you know, they basically set it up to where they do. They get her liquored up. They take her out to the beach. And then basically Sam, you know, takes her out, you know, behind like a large rock or large sand dune and he does her in. So, you know, now Kelly, she seems like she's not handling things particularly well. And then she gets in, she gets uh, interrogated, not interrogated, but she gets questioned by Duquette. And he's telling her, you know, like, you know, you need to kind of be more careful who you associate with and stuff. And so at one point, he thinks that Kelly is in trouble and Kelly is freaking out. So Duquette goes to see her and ultimately he ends up shooting her. And, you know, the thing is, it's like Kelly, she freaks out. She thinks that he's going to kill her. She thinks that Sam has sent him to kill her. But, you know, uh, so, you know, she freaks out she, and he ends up shooting her. He shoots Kelly. She ends up dead. So. You know, this is the thing that ends up getting him off the force. And then, you know, basically it seems like Lombardo is going to go scot-free. So he's out, you know, he's living the good life. He's, you know, sailing around on a boat. He's, you know, going around on the sea and everything else. And then, but we find out there's another twist here. And then we find out that that twist is, is that uh, actually Duquette has a history of, you know, um, being abusive and he was stalking a woman. It turns out he's not the guy you think he is. And that's the thing. In this movie, it turns out really nobody is who you think they are. And so we come to find that out. And we find out that, uh, you know, actually Duquette is working with Lombardo. And then Lombardo is, you know, uh, he thinks that the, that the two of them are going to split the money. And it's like now they can split it because now Kelly's dead and all this stuff. And Lombard and uh, Duquette thinks that uh, Susie's dead. And so, you know, they're out on the yacht and everything. So now Lombardo or Duquette, he's starting to get paranoid too. And he thinks that, you know, Lombardo is getting ready to do him in. But we find out that actually Susie, Bev Campbell's character, was supposed to be dead. Now she's alive and she ends up helping Lombardo kill, you know, Duquette so that they can have the money. So now they figure kind of like everything's all settled and stuff like that. But it's like now you're starting to wonder like, okay, is now it's Lombardo going to kill Susie or Susie going to kill Lombardo? Turns out basically Susie ends up one-upping Lombardo and, you know, uh, you know, he ends up getting killed. And then pretty much it's Susie, you know, at the end of the movie is Susie. She's got the money. She wins pretty much. But then we find out that actually Susie was working with Bill Murray's character, so the two of them end up splitting the money, and so they go their separate ways, and that's pretty much about it. And then we find out that the partner who was working with Duquette, she finds out about the shady history that Duquette had and realizes, like, okay, so she kind of realizes, like, yeah, it's time to let all this go, and, and uh, you know, no sense trying to get any justice for him. He didn't really deserve it. Turns out, you know, she finds out, you know, she puts everything together that, that Duquette was in on it with Lombardo and, and, you know, she kind of basically puts together the whole mess. And so at the end of it, there you go. But, uh, overall, it's an entertaining movie. You know, it's definitely good. You know, if you like, uh, um, erotic, you know, erotic thrillers and things like that, like I said, but the only thing is us, I, I feel like, um, you know, I feel bad for you if you're going into this, hoping you're going to see some, you know, Nev Campbell nudity because you're not, but honestly, I feel kind of like the real standout here has to be Denise Richards. You know, in my opinion, she kind of saves the movie. She's the one who really, you know, you know, she goes above and beyond. She's the one who does the nudity. You know, she plays a great part and everything. And all the actors do good, you know, good performances all around. Great cinematography by, you know, the cinematographer. Um, John McNaughton did a good movie. So, yeah, I highly recommend it. You know, if you're, you know, you want this, definitely, I would definitely say that, yeah, um, if you're building an erotic thriller collection, then yeah, Wild Things is one you should have. You know, if for you know, if nothing else, for Denise Richards and Teresa Russell alone, I think the two of them are worth it. So, but anyway, that's going to pretty much do it. So uh, yeah, we talked about it, and uh, we'll get ready to talk about the sequels here pretty soon too. So, um, you know, if you watch this video, I thank you for doing it. I appreciate you for doing it. I honestly hope you enjoyed the review. Uh, if you did, please like. If you haven't already, please subscribe. There'll be more videos posted, and. Um, Again, I can't thank you enough for watching. Take care, and I'll see you all later.